not only lands here, but it goes to the nations of the earth. In Jesus' name, bless you, Barry. Shingaria Tuta Eliandu Rabba Baba Baka Ye Ye Yo Ya Ma 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 Harombo Dade Shekarobo Araratai Hela Raratai Hela Ratai Hela Ratai Hela Ratai Hela Ratai Hela Ratai Usha Karobota Utarabasa Pahe this is a Pentecostal church, I hear. <laughs> Speak in tongues and wave your hanky. Shela <laughs> Pushama. You young whippersnappers. You need to see some of this old time Pentecost. <laughs> Somebody say, this is the day. This is the day. That's pretty good. That's about four or five. Let's try that again. Say, this is the day. This is that the Lord has made, Lord has made. I, I will rejoice, will rejoice. And, be and be glad in it. Come on, let's give him one more hand clap of praise. <laughs> hey, Shayla, ro, 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 ro. Jesus! Spirit of expectancy is the breeding ground for the miraculous. There is an abundance of the miraculous that is about to be married to your situation. The marrying of the glory to your situation unshackles you yeah. say my sound, my sound destroys, destroys shackles, shackles by the seashore with Sammy Sprinkler <laughs> Spl Sprinkler Can you say, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare, Holy Spirit, Lord, over my mind, my will, and my emotions. Father God, I decree and declare, Holy Spirit, Lord, over my body. My body, my body is the temple, is the temple of, the of the Holy Spirit. My body, my body is, not, is not. My body, my body is, a is a temple of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. My, body my body is not, is not a, sanctuary a sanctuary for sickness. My body, my body is, not is not an incubator. For infirmity. for infirmity. My body, my body is, the of the Lord. is the healed of the Lord. Top of my head. Of my head. Soles, of my Soles of my feet. I'm healed, I'm healed. because the Bible says, because. by his stripes, by his stripes. We, were we were healed. I am healed. I, am healed. I, don't I don't care what the circumstances say. I am, I am the healed of the Lord. The Lord. Right? Yeah. Right. right. I don't know if I could say that, so I'm just trying to gauge my audience here. But you guys look pretty crazy, so come on now. My body, my body is, is the healed. Of the Lord, Lord. Right. right freaking, freaking. now. Yeah. Woo. 
I want to say to you, Cam is a fantastic dancer. He was to too many uh, concerts, I see. <laughs> what you're dealing with is a past life self-image information problem. <laughs> but stay there, baby. <laughs> Man, he's got skill. Raw skill. So good, so good. Inspiring, dude. 55! 80s babies, come on, somebody stand up if you're, if you're about that age. Come on. Yeah. Freedom 55, baby. I'm proud to say I'm a 66 baby. In my generation, the Leafs won. Father, forgive them for they know what they're doing. <laughs> Say it's more about third heaven, joy fair, than it is about second heaven warfare. Nobody wants a poopy face out in the audience or out in the world. He said poopy face. <laughs> and freaking in the same car. Oh, my God. Help us, Jesus. Help us. Uh, uh, Mark is not responsible for anything I do. Yeah, that's why he didn't show this morning. He says, I have deniable plausibility. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Come on now. Get that out. Get that out. Yeah, I'm going to blame Casey. Hallelujah. In ministry, you always need a fall guy. Just kidding, that's really awful. Tada, my Casey, can you come and read this for me? Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, just stretching you. Yeah. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Say, I live, I live from victory, from victory. Not, not for victory. Yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah. That's true. That's great. Yeah. Say, I am. An answer, An answer being delivered. Being delivered. I, ain't nobody's pet project. I ain't nobody's pet project. I am anointed. I am anointed. And I am, I am an, answer an answer to my world, to my world. right now. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Say, I am, I am an, answer an answer being delivered. Being delivered. As you're being delivered, you're being delivered. You don't wait till you're perfect like Dan. Just don't talk to Law. La La. His wife. She'd say the same. You don't wait. Don't go anywhere. No, no, you gotta stay around the anointing. Get lazy. I just gotta stand up here all day. You can give me five minutes. <laughs> you don't wait till you get perfect to begin to fulfill your calling, your election, your purpose, and live out the maximum of your dream. Before there was a was, don't be reading that before we go. Before there was a was, there was a God who was nowhere in the midst of nothing, being God all by himself, but dreaming about you. Thank you. I feel the Lord saying that you should buy me lunch today. That's a deal. Say, I came, I came on a purpose, on a purpose. With, a purpose with a purpose 
to fulfill a purpose with all power to fulfill a purpose I've been placed in chaos to bring forth order and release the glory you prophesied about victory you remember vaguely thank you honesty is a great policy you did I heard it in the spirit T today is graduation day you said that and I, I, I heard in my spirit happy birthday I heard happy birthday because you're about to be born into. Sir, with that really, really good chips, 80s mustache, yeah, you see me. Magnum PI is saying, I wish. Come this way. Mama, back up, back up just a bit, back up just a bit, back up, back up, back up, back up. Good. Okay, good, good. Hachila ratatatad. Happy birthday. Piscutara mameto. Arebutara. Hatropo. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. It's unlocked. The key, the key, the key, the key. You will unlock worship leaders because you received the key of David. Hate my mama this day. Say, I am, I am more, than more than enough. Say, I am, I am overkill. overkill. <laughs> Can you screw off one of those lids? Give me one of those lids, please. Yeah, how you doing? You great? <laughs> I need a volunteer. I need somebody young. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, no, you, you, come on. No, you, yeah. Stand up here. You're already up once today. Don't stand. Up there. Oh, my word. It's hard to get good help around here. They got this guy who wants to take a vacation. This guy gets him. Woo. Ha, la, la, la. Don't fall over on me. Especially me. Say, I am overkill. What's your name, sir? Andrew. Very good. He got the first one right. You are an answer to this realm. You came as an answer. You're nobody's problem, and you're not a problem to be solved. When you came into this realm, you came fully loaded with more resources than you could use in 10 lifetimes. When Andrew came, where did he come from? <laughs> when Andrew came, yes. into this realm. he came yes. as an answer to the sphere of influence and metron of ministry that he would land in when he, when he got launched from the heart of the Father and he came on purpose. Say, I, Andrew have been apostolically sent into this realm as a nuclear bomb answer to tiny, teeny problems. See this? Exhibit B. This is exhibit A. Can you hear me? Audience and those on the panel. 
I don't know who the panel is. <laughs> You're the panel. This exhibit A is the teeny tiny little problems. Romans A 18. These sufferings cannot compare. I believe I shall. <laughs> These problems cannot compare to the glory that is about to be risen when I show up. Be careful because it's pretty close to a Lego, which we all know is deadly. More than one giant has been taken out by a single Lego. <laughs> Say, I am. Thank you, everybody. That would be great, too. Say, I am. Andrew. <laughs> Say your name, okay? Say, I am. Andrew. I was born for this moment. And I am a nuclear bomb answer, nuclear bomb answer. to teeny tiny little ant problems on the earth. <laughs> you are now being launched. T minus three seconds. Three, two, one. That was the mushroom cloud. Did anybody get that? Give Andrew a hand. You, he totally destroyed the cap. He'll never be the same again. Good morning. Okay, did you read this while well, you're waiting? <laughs> Can you read this out loud? Can you add your faith to these words? Amen. I know you will. This is your moment. <laughs> Turn up the lights. Woo. When the Lord brought I'm just taking pressure off. I'm just taking pressure off. Hold hold me, Barry. Hold me. Hand up. Yeah, I got it now. Okay. When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, when the Lord set us free, we were like those who dream, full of wonder it seems, so unreal, a dream too good to be true. Then our mouths were filled with laughter and our tongues with singing. A shout of rejoicing describes the kind of joyful shouting at the time of the great victory. We were the talk of the nations. Then they said among the nations, God is wonderful to them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad and we are one happy people. Sandai. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Let me go. Shepa ma ma ma. Hura ba ma 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 ma. Hura ma 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 ma. Hara tara baria tara baria tara. Hara bara baria tara baria tara bariondo. Ma 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 ma. Hara tara barianda ishi shi shi. I decree and declare today, Casey. The veil comes off today. Oh! Woo! Shake on my mouth. Woo! Woo! Say this I am a generous receiver. Of the goodness of the Lord. Of the of the Lord. Yes. 
Okay, see, this is a day of discovery. This is not everybody else's graduation. Say, it's mine. It's mine. It's mine, too. And I just want to stand here today and honor you as a voice, not just to the nation, but to the world, that he's expanding your mind. This day, he's downloading Chica Mama. Fresh revelation. Giving eyes to see, ears to hear, and a mind to perceive. Eyes to see, ears to hear, a mind to perceive. Expansion. Capability. And he had to hide you to prepare you for the revealed mysteries affluence and influence and I release to you today a grace to load manage it all in Jesus name say I receive a grace to load manage my awesomeness. <laughs> Say, I am a magnificent. Answer. Say, I am, I am. Anointed. anointed. Say, I am, I am. Anointed. anointed. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, the of the Sovereign Lord. Is, upon me. is upon me. I, I am, am anointed. This is not a believe. This is not a apostolic anointing, although it is. It's not a prophetic anointing, although it is. It's not a pastor's anointing, but what it is is it is a believer's anointing. <laughs> Say, I am, I am. Part, of part of the uh, ecclesia. You can, say, you can say ecclesia, but ecclesia just sounds like, yeah, baby. I'm anointed. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor, to bind up the broken heart, to proclaim liberty for the captives, release from darkness for those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to give them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair, that they might become oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. Yeah, that. Thank you, Ben, for tracking. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me. Say, the creator. The creator. Take your right hand. I swear, I swear. To give Barry. No, just kidding. <laughs> Put your right hand on your belly. Say, the creator, the creator. of the universe, of the universe. Lives, in lives in me. Selah. Pause and reflect. Say the creator of the universe dwells in me. Say, I, I, at my new birth, became one 
with the glory of the Father. You're saved, you're being saved, and you will be saved. What we are seriously dealing with, ladies and gentlemen, is a past life self problem information that we brought into the new creation reality. We brought it in and we just, we just think that it's okay to think the way we used to think. But if you always think what you've always thought, you're always going to get what you always got. And that's why we not need to get rid of our stinking thinking because we need to begin to release the glory of the Lord and God can only release the glory of the Lord for, with somebody who believes that they're worthy enough to carry the glory. I have breached all protocols and I'm Dearly sorry for that. Pastor Mark Breesbaugh, I honor you. I love you. I thank you that we run together. Wendy Breesbaugh, one of my favorites. I honor you today. I honor you, Paul. I honor you, Ken. I honor you, Cam. I honor these lovely, beautiful new people in my life that you guys are just so... I, oh, uh, yeah, baby, right there. And I'm, I'm very... It was about 15 years ago... Um, Ken Gill and I stopped by to see Mark. We sat in the office that I sat earlier, and I said, I'll come here preach sometime. Here, I'm here. <laughs> I'm Barry Maracle. I grew up on the Tondanaga Mohawk territory. Uh, Casey, be released. <laughs> Your graduation is up. It's my time now, sir. Uh, married to the most amazing woman to ever walk the planet besides Mary, the mother of Jesus, and you just gotta give her props there. I mean, just, you can't, I'd like to go there, but I just do, dare not. Yeah. Uh, 30 years, you know why now. Um, she prayer stalked me for two years before we got married, it's beautiful. She's gorgeous. Sorry, I just got distracted there. <laughs> Joe Horn, I honor you, bless you. Joe is in my youth ministry just after the uh, uh, woolly mammoth passed and no longer on the planet. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a Haudenosaunee. He's a... a, a a man of the Iroquois Confederacy. He was, he was uh, raised around our area, and uh, he's a great sees. He's a great seer. He likes to blow the shofar. And I just want to say, after this morning, shofar, so good. <laughs> I am a dad, obviously. <laughs> Where's my drum player? <laughs> okay, whatever. I have five beautiful children. Um, uh, I'm a fourth generation spirit filled preacher. My grandfather was the first Mohawk native, first Iroquois, first, first, first Nations, first Indian. I prefer to be called Indian. And if I've offended you by that, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not sorry. Um, oh, tough crowd. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I, I'm very politically correct. Uh, but the most important thing is I'm the redeemed of the Lord. Yes. Say redemption, redemption is greater than, is greater than perfection. perfection. Adam and Eve were created perfectly because they were 
created in the image and in the likeness of God. Prototype. Adam. Eve. Adam was created in chaos and then brought into the garden. Eve was created in the garden. Yeah. And that's why we are the way we are. Men need stuff to kill, <laughs> kingdoms to take, and a damsel to spoil her so badly or goodly or gooder than anything else. Gooder, gooder is the best one. My goal is when Tammy and I go to heaven and we're standing at the pearly gates, and we walk through and on the golden streets of glory, and she begins to look around. She says, nothing much has changed. Freedom 55, can you come here for a moment, please? Can you read this for us? Freedom 55 eyes. I think I'm good. Yeah, what am I reading? Freedom 54. Yes. Oh, read it? Yeah. Even the brackets? Yes. All oh, the brackets, okay. I need a dramatization. Add my favorite. Okay. Okay, I know. I'll try not to be. Okay. Psalms 126, 1 to 3. Here we go. When the Lord brought back the captivity. <laughs> when the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, when the Lord set us free, we were like those who dreamed, full of wonder. It seemed so unreal. A dream too good to be true. Wow. Then our mouths were filled with laughter and our tongues with singing. Rena, a shout of rejoicing. Rena describes the kind of joyful shouting at the time of a great victory. We were the talk of the nations. Then they said among the nations, God was wonderful to them. And the Lord has done great things for us. And we are glad. We are one happy people. Then our la 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 la. Then our mouths were filled with laughter. Okay, okay. L go like this. Ha ha. ha, ha. Hardy har har. That's a good start. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then our mouths were filled with laughter. Ha ha. Hardy har. It's more about third heaven joy fair mentality, living above the fray, focused on the things that are above, not the things of the earth. Hey!
Ela la 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 la. Il a puta. Il a puta. Then our mouths were filled with laughter. Can I get four people? Four, just four. And I got freedom 55. Take over the world. Oh yeah, and nuclear bomb answered guy. Then our mouths were filled with laughter. <laughs> See how they just need a little priming a pump? Can I join the like the dance team? Absolutely. Um, tongues with singing. And our <laughs> laughter. <laughs> it's okay. I'm only here one day. It'll be okay. Mark's going to come in and straighten everything else. Okay. Our mouths were filled with laughter and our tongues with singing. That word singing is Rena. Rena is a shout of victory. The shout of the king is amongst you. <laughs> Rena is a shout of rejoicing. Rena describes the kind of joyful shouting at the time of a great victory. When Paul and Silas were in the bottom of the penitentiary, it was the midnight hour, twilight hour, the moment of transition. Paul, your transition moment <laughs> comes when it seems impossible. Say impossibilities, impossibilities. Are, now. are now. Say impossibilities, impossibilities. Are, now. are now. Impossible. Impossible. Yeah. <laughs> Say opposition, opposition. Is, my is my opportunity to launch. Your setback is your setup for your get up so you can go up, so you can rule and reign, get filled with the glory like you usually do. This is everyday kingdom living. And then you come back down and you distribute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Say, my setback, my setback. is my setup. Set your, your dark moments are nothing more than a backdrop to show forth the brilliance of God. Yes. Yes. Say it again. Yes. Those dark moments, those oppositions that said you're not going to make it. You're not good enough. You're not handsome enough like Dan. And you're not, you're not good enough. You're not educated enough. I'm educated, baby. I, I, you're, but I wasn't. I was like in three and four, I was in the slow learning class. 
I rode the yellow short bus. <laughs> Badge of honor. It's okay. I'm healed. Okay. My mom left me when I was three. I was a white looking kid living on a native territory where the worst thing you'd be called is a white man. That's where I learned how to do kung fu. Just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah. I'm a bit of a jokester. But none of these things, Andrew, define me. Because before I was born, he knew me. Before I was in my mother's womb, he sanctified me. I ain't nobody's problem. Because I came on purpose with a purpose to fulfill a purpose. I am an answer and I am anointed. Say, I am anointed. The spirit of the sovereign Lord dwells within me. Jesus says, I stand at the door and knock. I'm knocking. I'm knocking. Will you let me out? Say, out of my belly flows rivers of living water. Everything you will ever need. Sure. They're right into it. Everything you will ever need. You, you either came with it or it was sent ahead of you. It's not so much using your faith to get stuff. It's having faith and being obedient. And the stuff gets added as you walk down the path that God called for you. The greatest sin in the garden was not disobedience. It's where they put their faith. Jesus was really teched. <laughs> he marveled at the unbelief in Jerusalem. Like, I don't want to be known for that. I mean, that's, you made God wa wonder and marvel. Way to go. But you totally screwed up. Because it was the same sin that was in the garden. Unbelief. How long am I going to be with you and you don't believe me? It's oligopistus. Oligopistus is ye of little faith. See, that's not here. That's not here. It's not here. Not here. I, I'm not oligopistus. You're welcome. I am dangerous because... I am overkill. <laughs> Come on, Derek, keep it together. <laughs> Actually, don't. Don't no, get him, Dad. Get him. <laughs> hey! It's really good you had a bath yesterday. That's great. Ha chica ra ma 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 ma. Could you just stand up? Come into the aisle. Okay, you're gonna take three steps forward. That that's one and uh, one, two, three.
Wow, that was very, very gracious. <laughs> Thank you for sparing Dan's back. That's wonderful. <laughs> it was a scene out of Matrix. I've faced betrayal. I've faced, you know, having to go low. And so, I'm telling you about my traumas and you guys are laughing. <laughs> what kind of people are you? <laughs> my kind of people. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> yeah. She, you, you might be getting you know, a glimpse of that I'm not identified by everybody else's opinion. I don't have a care. But there's, there's days when you do. There's moments when you do. And what do you do when you don't know what to do? Just stand and believe. 50 was a, a, a challenging year. I brought out my book, which it has a really nice gold seal on it. It says bestseller. Oh, it's nothing. It just cost me everything. But anyway, um, uh, anybody want this book? Yeah. Got to be quick. Got to be quick. I brought out a book. I had a, an amazing... was my 50th birthday party amazing? It was awesome. And I had so many of my friends there celebrating, and we were having such a, a great time. And uh, my son was getting married that year. My son, Brandon, he just graduated from Queen's Law. And, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a pretty sharp kid. Takes after his mom. Um, bigger bus. Yeah, she definitely had a bigger bus. <laughs> I'm coming for you. My son is getting married on June 11th, uh, five years ago. Just we just celebrated his fifth anniversary. And two days before he gets married to the love of his life on a yacht in the Toronto Harbor, it was just a fairy book. It's cool. Two days before it, I have a massive heart attack. Yeah. And... I didn't, I didn't make the bachelor party, uh, but I did make the wedding. I was serving the night, uh, the night before the, the wedding. I was serving the, the bridal team and, and the family. You have to learn how to stand on the promises. Say the promises of God are still yes, still yes and amen to them that believe. Them that believe. I, am I am anointed, anointed to believe. To believe. Yes. 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 
I'm not an anointed critic. I'm not an anointed doubter. I'm, I'm not anointed to test the, the, the extremities of unbelief. I'm anointed to believe. And I'm addressing some people that you need fresh hope. I am a hope dealer. Three months after my massive heart attack, uh, that I was miraculously raised up and no, basically no damage to my heart. A couple of stents, bada boom, bada psh, out the door. Don't want to be there. No. Three months after the massive heart attack, I'm, I'm getting ready in the washroom for the day. Sorry about the visual. Um, I said, and the enemy comes to me, he says, what, why do you think you're going to make it? And he, quote, and he rehearsed to me three major generals that passed away that year. And he was gunning for me. Say, my setback, my setback is, my setup. is my setup. If I only believe. Say, I am, I am an anointed, anointed believer. believer. And I'm like, dang, I am kind of low man on the totem. I can say that because I'm an Indian. Oh, yeah, sorry that I offended you earlier. <laughs> Got to remember I'm politically correct. Man, man, she ain't told me. I said, yeah. How am I going to make it? Da, da, da. Massive man of God. Da, da, da. Massive man of God. Da, da, da. Massive implications around the world. And, and you're Barry Miracle. You think you're going to make it? As soon as, as soon as he said this, and I am, please hear what I'm saying, what I'm, not what I'm not saying, okay? As soon as the enemy said that, the Lord came to me and said, Son, sometimes my servants don't make it to the end. Hear the word of the Lord. Sometimes my servants don't make it and fulfill purpose because they put more faith in what they're about to do than what I've already done. changed my life. My faith is in Jesus Christ in his righteousness. My faith is in the blood of Jesus Christ. Young lady, you're going to change the world. My faith is in the blood of Jesus Christ. Say sum photos. Say sum photos. Thank you, three people. Say sum photos. It means united together through the whole process. When you accepted the blood of Jesus Christ as the payment for your life, Say, I'm, I'm paid for. My victory is paid for. My abundance is paid for. Say this. Say, it's about time that Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, gets what he paid for. My faith is in the virgin birth, the sinless life. Can you hear me? 
It's all about Jesus. It's all about my Savior. I can only do what I do because of his mercy and his grace. My faith is in his obedience to the cross. My faith is in the death on the cross. My faith is in he became sin for me. He wasn't just a, sca- a scapegoat that they laid the hands on him and, and put the sins of Israel on and sent him out into the wilderness. He wasn't just a scapegoat. He became sin so that I could become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. He became sin. My faith is in the fact that he became sin for me. Holy, holy. Just, just begin to just, just begin to praise him. Just begin to thank him. Just enjoy this moment. Thank you, Lord, that you love me so much. When I was at en- enmity with you, when I was your enemy, you died for me. You became sin. My faith, I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but only in Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. I I tried it all. I tried it pretty much all. There's a few things I didn't try, Cam, so, you know, it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. at least left me empty and wanting for more. But I went, I can't, I, I, <laughs> oh! oh! When my faith connected to his word, say I have been born again because of the incorruptible seed of the word of God that lives and abides forever. No one is saved unless a preacher is sent. Sir, could you stand up? Uh, you have a green short sleeve shirt on. You can run, but you cannot hide. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. You just that's good. Thank you. What's your name? Carrie. Carry on my way. Yours. Sorry. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Carry on. Sorry. It's funnier in my head. I unlock your potential today, Carrie. <laughs> you have not even seen a, a glimpse hardly of your best days. <sighs> I recognize the prophetic calling on your life and the ability, the ability to see. And I release a grace for you, a mantle to handle the experiences that you're about to embark upon. I just say to you, Carrie, she's better felt than telt. And you're going to have experiences. <sighs> They're going to change your life. And I just unlock your potential. Happy birthday, Carrie. 
Say some photos. Some photos. Some photos. Very welcome. Hey. Some photos. It means united together through the whole process. I've been united together with his birth, his sinless life, his death on the cross, his, his burial, his resurrection, his ascension, and his sitting down in glory. I am seated in heavenly places far above all principalities and powers of darkness. I live from my victory. I'm not living for a victory. I'm not living for a moment. Everybody's working for the weekend. I'd get the higher notes, but I've been screaming a lot. Everybody's looking for romance. Lover boy, 1984. I think you guys are way too holy. <laughs> just kidding. I'm reading all your mail. Oh man. Just just kidding again. <laughs> Everybody's looking for a second chance. Everybody's working for a moment. They're just, they're just making enough money so they can go get hammered with their buddies and go to a strip bar and try to recreate a moment when he was 15 when he discovered girls. And we're saying, bad, bad man. And we're saying, bad, bad girls. And they're all looking for life. They're all looking to recreate a moment in time where they were felt alive. Can I speak to prophetic people in the room? I think there's one or two here. Uh, my prophetic gifting is off the charts. <laughs> <laughs> prophetic people are either lingering in the past or longing, from the, longing for the future and never, and never living in the moment. There's always the proverbial carrot dangling out in front of them that they never seem to be able to be gifted or loved or appreciated. And it's always dangling out there about when this happens, then I will. Or when that happens, I can have. And I want to tell you, this is the day that the Lord has made. My rejoicing, say, I enter through his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. I think I, what is called, I, I left over here a, da, a dangling part, participle. Thank you, thank you, thank you, English teacher. And sorry for uh, mutilating the English language. My first language is tongues. <laughs> <laughs> Paul and Silas were in the deepest, darkest, most horrible place of the prison. They didn't have running water. Or they, they didn't have really like bidets or um, <laughs> urinals. So at the bottom is where all the refuge would lie. That's where they sat. Shackled to their circumstance. Your shout of victory, your shout of rejoicing on the day of great victory is not determined by your circumstance or your situation. It's determined by your voice. Say everything is voice activated. Say, there's power, there's power in my praise, in my praise 
there's deliverance in my declaration. And there's victory in my voice. Over the last three years, especially, the enemy's tried to shut your mouth, shut you down, and try to stop you, cover you, contain you, control you. It can't happen. As long as you have your voice, you will have your victory. Can you stand with me this morning? It's 1136. Do not tell Mark Breezebois that I'm six minutes over. Just, you, you got to lie for me. That's all you got to do. I'm just asking to lie. Nothing less. Just kidding, Paul. I was kidding. You know that. Yeah. Not about the lying thing, about the other thing. No, I was kidding about the lying thing. Father, there's so many people that need hope. Fresh hope. Fresh vision. I'm here to breathe fresh hope and resurrection life into your dream. And I understand if you have to go. I won't forgive you, but I understand. <laughs> Just kidding. I won't understand neither. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> no, um, seriously, I know that roast beef is very important. Yeah. And if I had a roast beef, I probably wouldn't be here right now. Just kidding. I wouldn't want to be any other place than right here right now. We're at a moment of transition. This is a shifting moment for you. Daniel chapter 7 verses 21 and 22 says this. I saw the horn warring against the saints and prevailing against them. The Bible says until. Say this is my until moment. You've cried loud and you spared not this morning. You created an atmosphere of freedom and liberty. There's, there's so much freedom here, it's ridiculous. We have entered into the all things are possible zone. And I don't know what you need this morning. But there are answers waiting to come out of you this morning. And come upon you this morning. And fit you this morning. Mantle you this morning. And flow forth from you this morning. And begin to be clothed with the glory of God. Galatians 5.25 says, if I live in the Spirit, say, if I live in the Spirit, I should also walk in the Spirit. There's a dichotomy, Andrea. See, I am saved to the uttermost. The Spirit of the living God lives in me. I have become one with the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead. I am seated in heavenly places, far above all principalities and powers of darkness. Honor that moment, just, just okay.
It's okay. She's just, she's just birthing her promise. See, my, my spirit, the enemy doesn't even care about my spirit right now. Because I'm seated in heavenly places. The kingdom of God is living on the inside of me. And I'm living. I'm living in the kingdom. But it's my mind. I came after your mind today. Your mind, your will, and your emotions. Third John 2 says, Third John 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Just turn me up just a little bit. I'm, I'm born again because of the incorruptible seed of the word of God which lives and abides forever. And I put my faith in a preacher. You know, I put my faith in what I read. I put my faith. And all of a sudden something, I, I understood that. What Jesus has done for me. Just, just don't, don't smother it too much. Just let it happen. My, my soul now is in being washed by the water of the living word of God. My, my mind is being renewed, transformed. My will is being fortified and my feelings are being trained. And I, I am a now because I believe it. I just don't receive it, but now I'm a believer. And I'm in my mind. I'm receiving what my spirit already did. There are strongholds in your mind that need to be broken. Ungodly traumas. My mom left me when I was three. And I was too dumb to know I was rejected. Reverse discrimination, everything. I began to believe the word of God. In a slow learning class. But I'm college educated. I'm SMRT. You'll get it on the way home. But we need to transform our minds. Paul, just lift your hands. You are designed for this. You are designed to transform minds. I released the teaching anointing. And I release a grace to prophetically teach to you and through you to come out of you in Jesus name <sighs> this, the supernatural spirit of God in the workings of the Holy Spirit can best flow through a transformed mind because of the reformation of your spirit and the word of God coming into here. Trans reformation, transformation, rest. This is your moment. This is your until moment. And I just release right now.
when you're ref reformed, reformed means brought back up to the original perfection. Can you hear me? I, I mean, I, I believe I dismissed you, did I not? If you needed to go, I understand. The whole roast beef thing, if you didn't get that, come ride the short bus with me. But I believe that this is graduation day, Casey. And I'm just honored to be here at this moment. And I honor all the, the men and women that came before Mark and Wendy Breezebois. I honor them and I honor Mark and Wendy for stewarding to this moment. And I just say that I'm honored to be uh, somebody that's bringing to, to see the breaking of the membrane. You guys pushed today and you broke and the water is flowing and the baby is birthing. And what you've been standing for, what you've been believing for is coming to fruition. So many dreams that you think are lost are about to be resurrected. Right, warrior? It's over! It's over! It's over! right now is, is the push. What's happening right now is the push. There's a push in the spirit. Do not, do not disengage. Hey! Hey! Come on, Ben. This morning, just turn me up just a little bit more. Turn me up just a little bit more. This morning, if you have a dream that needs to be birthed or resurrected, run up here as fast as you can. And I need about five ushers. Hey la ra 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 ta 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 ta. Hey la ta 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 ta. Hey la ta 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 ta. Hey la ta ta ra ta ta ta. Hey la ta ta ra ta ta ta. Hey la ra ta 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 ta. Hey la ta ta ra ta ta. Hey. When you say hey, you are actually releasing the breath of God into your situation. Somebody say hey. Somebody say hey.